Almost. We're almost there. We're almost there. Oh my god. Wait. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Nah, dude. Okay, hold on, Wait. hold on. Go, go, it just refreshed. So go yeah, back dude. Okay, okay, there we go. All right. Oh my god, dude. What is Easy happening now? today? I think we're ready. Everything's been Excellent. recording for like hours, and we just had to yeah. fumble around with yeah. the watch later list for like 30 minutes. Okay, let's just go. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. Ow. Hell my my yeah. wrist is broke. I just broke my wrist. I so felt I gotta wind go. from that. I, <laughs> it, had, it had like, it had an aura of its own. I am Matt. That is Chris. You guys are the best audience in the world. This is 307 Reacts, and on the screen in front of us, we have a video called The Hardest Would You Rather Questions Ever, and this is from Sanagato Studios. If you don't know Sanagato Studios, it is worth going down to, like, their page, or we we always have a link for the original video in, in our description. Yes. Click on that, go over to their page, look through some of their content. It is absolutely hilarious. Oh, they yeah. have a podcast called The Basement the Yard. Basement Yard. The Basement yeah. Yard Podcast. Also hilarious. Uh, exactly what you would expect from, from like, this group. Yeah, so. yeah. And I thought this would be a good video because I am actually interested in some of these questions also because I yeah. think some of them, if they're not just all perverted, disgusting questions, should be actually pretty good. I like – I think sh these should be, like, some good conversation starters. Yeah. So – yeah. I don't know. Thought it would be a good video. Uh, and then, you know, it gives you guys an opportunity to chime in in the comment section. We can all get a little piece of the pie here. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? So, anyways, it's a good time. with that, uh, shall we just get right into this? So, it. hit that subscribe button. Um, that's all we're asking for. That's that's pretty much all we're ever asking for. We mm -hmm. just want you to click that little red button down there. I'm pretty sure there's like, would you say, 70% of the uh, yeah, people that watch these videos are not subscribed to our channel? So, yep. I mean, literally, if even half of that many people hit that button, that would be pretty much life changing for us. So, like, yeah. If you guys could help us out, it doesn't cost you anything. It's free for us. I know every channel asks for that, but turns out we're one of those channels too. So, Weird. all right, <laughs> let's go. Welcome it back, worked. ladies and gentlemen. Today we have scoured the internet for the hardest would you rather questions in the world. So I am fully prepared to have it be like, would you rather, you know, save your dad from a fire or have sex with your mom or some stupid shit like that. But let's go. <laughs> would you rather all songs exist, but they are all performed by Pitbull or only one Pitbull song exists, but it's performed by every artist with their own cover interpretation. <laughs> What the fuck? All songs exist, but they're all by Pitbull. Mr. 305, if you will. Mr. Worldwide, actually. The question would be which Pitbull song, because if it's culo, fucking... That shit is fire. So, like, you know, a couple of people could do that song, it probably, would probably bang every time. Going to a club would be weird, though. Because it would just be the same song oh with different God. artists. That might not be too bad. I don't dislike Pitbull. He just scares me. The way that he looks, he looks like an evil dude. He like, looks like he's trying to, like, steal the moon or something. I'm gonna go with the first one. All songs exist, but they're all performed by Pitbull. Like, fuck it, man. He's got range, you know what I'm saying? He had Kulo, <laughs> then he made I, I love, think um, I'd agree with International that, Love with Chris Brown. I, I don't know. The dude's got range, dude. I'm, I'm going I'm going. I don't know Pitbull. Pitbull Would you rather get five additional years to live, but you know the day you die, or not know and get nothing? Fuck that. I don't want to know. Don't tell me shit, dude. Facts. I don't want to know and get nothing. Wait, I get nothing. I agree with that. Five additional years to live and get to know the day. Yeah. Or get what was the second option? Or the second is just not know and get nothing, which that's basically what, that's, that's just what living life. That's literally yeah. just living that's, life. That's it. That's life. That's just every single day you wake up. That's what it is. Never know. Get in the car. Who knows? <laughs> what, what are the odds? Uh, they, there's a, a statistic on that. Every time you get in your car, there's a something percent chance that you might you, that might be the last time you ever get in your mm. car. Something like that. I can't remember what it is. But anyways, yeah, that's just that's just living yeah. life, dude. All right, let's go. Oh, hang on. Apparently, hang vending on. machines are more dangerous than sharks. Is that true? That is. More people have died from vending machines falling on them than have been killed by sharks. <laughs> from vending machines? I mean, <laughs> if you think, I guess they got to get from the warehouse to the places <laughs> somehow, right? The, at a certain yeah. point, people are moving those things from mm -hmm. one place to another. So, yeah. That's I, probably I where most of it happens. It's got to be. That's yeah. where I think about it. You know, like, mm -hmm. it, it's funnier to think about it happening in, like, the break room, you know. So yeah, there's a vending like machine just falling the thing on someone. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure that probably is part of it. But I, yeah. I would assume mostly that happens in, like, the supply chain yeah. area where yeah, they're yeah. just, like, hauling that shit. Forklift, big truck, just right. moving shit around. Oh, this has around. to go on the eighth floor. Yeah, of exactly. Yep. Oh. Yeah, that's probably where it happens. Anyways, okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to fix this right now. Nothing. Let's get nothing. I, I die it. now. What does that mean? <laughs> no. You die whenever you're going to die. 
Oh, okay, yeah, and no, I'll take that. So my regular life, or I know when I die, but I get five more years, fuck that. I don't wanna know. The five more years is five years of fucking anxiety, dude. I'm not fucking dealing with that. The rest of my life Max. becomes anxiety. Life is only fun because I don't think about dying. If I knew when I was going to die, I would only think about that. That's so very true. That. Would you rather change true. gender every time you sneeze or not be able to tell the difference between a muffin and a baby? Bro, give me those tits. Uh, every time I sneeze, <laughs> fuck that, dude. Uh, if I love muffins. I love them, dude. There's a muffin that a diner makes close to my apartment and it's a blueberry muffin, but they like cut in half and they put like butter on the pan and they put it in butter and they soak it in. Yeah. It's probably horrible for you, but it tastes so good. But if you, if I couldn't tell the difference between a baby and that muffin, I'd be eating babies, dude. <laughs> I'd be crushing babies. And I can't have that because, you know, I got nieces and nephews and I'm around babies all the time. And I do get hungry and I get a hankering for muffins. Imagine picking up my nephew and I'm just biting into his fucking head. And my sister's like, what the fuck you doing? And I'm like, well, I bought this. Like, it's my muffin. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go with the first one, change gender. It's not so bad. I don't sneeze, sneeze all that often. Also, you can yeah. make yourself sneeze. If I was like, wanted to be a girl for whatever reason, but I wanted to go back to being a dude for something real quick, then I would like, yeah, get some pepper or stare at a light bulb or something. I don't know. Stare at a sneeze. light bulb or something. <laughs> be dope. Would you rather have the ability to effortlessly run at 100 miles per hour or fly at 10 miles an hour? Fly at 10. Fly at 10. This is a all tough day. one, all dude. Running day, at 100 bro. miles Because there's no, this. I like this question. Like running at 100 miles an hour, pretty dope. You get places pretty quick. Yeah. At 100 miles an hour, that's, that's moving. Yeah. Uh, but flying, it doesn't say how low you're flying. It just says how slow you're flying. You can yeah. just go anywhere. Like, now, now, to also counter that point, okay, or not counter, but... Um, to go along with it? The running at 100 miles an hour doesn't... It, you got to stop at some yeah. point. Mm-hmm. And, like, if your legs just stop moving at 100 miles an hour, you're you're going to fuck your shit up. And, <laughs> and I feel like you would get tired still. Like, you're running at 100 miles an hour, but, like, you still got to get... It's not like your legs are detached from the rest of your body. You're still using yeah. those muscles and stuff, right? Yeah. So fly, I'd rather fly, dude. Fly all, all day. All day. Let's go fly. Miles per hour is so fast. Best player in the NFL. Best Olympian ever. Win every marathon. Blowing past the Kenyans, dude. Making them look like idiots. 100 miles an hour? <laughs> My God. They wouldn't even know what was happening. But flying, dude? How, how high can I get? Can I get really high? Flying's only cool See, if you can travel, if it like helps travel. 10 miles an hour. Like I could fly across the water to Manhattan and just get wherever. And I probably would do the run at 100 miles an hour. And then I'd probably just start robbing. To, to be honest with you, can you imagine if you could run 100 miles an hour, you can take someone's bag and run away. I love how I went right to crime, by the way. That's, I probably shouldn't have this superpower, but I'm running, dude. Right Would you rather crime. fight Mike Tyson in his prime for 60 seconds or have his voice and lisp permanently? 60 I seconds. I to fight Mike Tyson just because his voice and lisp, it only works because look at him. Like, you look That's at Mike fast. Tyson, he could have big tits, clown makeup on, and no one's gonna laugh at him. No one's gonna tell him he looks a little weird. They're just gonna be like, ah, it's Mike. Like he can have anything. So he has the lisp and, the, and like the voice and stuff. It's not the greatest. It's not the, it's not the greatest. So I might have to get in there with Mike Tyson yeah, for a minute. I think and, I'd go uh, with 60 seconds. If I'm able to run 100 miles an hour, he's not gonna touch me. So. <laughs> the thing about the 60 seconds is like, the, the lo- yeah, it's the longest 60 seconds of your entire life. Oh God, dude. Really, all you gotta know how to do is get away. Just learn how to dodge and just, just watch turn out. Just into a ball. Yeah, just, just like, watch out and just hope you don't take one to the side of the head because at that oh point God, it's game dude. over. You're you're done. You're not gonna make it. Yeah. But if you can get it, if you can dodge and block for sixty seconds, that's it. It's over. You're done. I don't know, dude. Having his voice and lisp though, man, I'd be prank calling everybody. You, I mean. You could do some serious voiceovers and like things yeah, like that. Yeah. You can make some money on it. I can probably it. make a lot of money. There you go. Yeah, look at the profitable side of things. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I'm still going to take that 60 seconds. <laughs> 60 seconds all day, dude. <laughs> oh, if we could mix these up a little bit, then I, I would be totally fine. But I think for 60 seconds, I would definitely get my rib destroyed because I'm yeah, saving like, my skull. So I would put my hands up, try and like absorb some of those blows, but I'm running, baby. Also, if he knocks me out, whatever. People get knocked out all the time, dude. You get knocked out within a minute, I get to keep my voice. Would you rather have a (laughs) horizontal butt crack or a vertical mouth? A vertical mouth would probably make you better at eating puss. (laughs) 
Because it's like, that's a vertical mouth. You know what I mean? Like, that's, <laughs> like, vagina's a vertical mouth. And now you just gotta make out with it. Like, that would make so, it would make it easier. A horizontal butt crack would get interesting. Mm. You would probably have to change the toilet, like, because you, it would be coming out like pancakes now. <laughs> it would be coming out like that instead of like, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I would take the butt crack, the horizontal butt crack. I wouldn't even know, bro. I haven't seen my asshole in fucking like six years. I haven't seen my ass in mad long. And also, the poop's coming out, the, how the poop comes out. You, you change the direction of the crack and nothing happens. The poop's gonna come out the poop. Imagine you like show someone, you're like, yo. That's, yeah, that's what yo. I'm They're like, what? Your shit is sideways? <laughs> Sitting? Well, it's not your whole butt, it's your crack. Oh, the crack! I'm thinking asshole! Yeah, my butt would be like a division sign. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's just a line that goes across my butt. I, I would probably still do that because I could wear shorts, dude. I can't walk around with a vertical mouth. What the fuck? That's insane. <laughs> would you rather have All Star by Smash Mouth play every time you orgasm or orgasm every time you hear All Star by <laughs> Smash Mouth? R.I.P. Mm. to the guy. I forget his name right now, but R.I.P. I'll take the orgasm every time I hear it. I don't really, I already kind of orgasm I when I, I hear fair. the song because yeah, it's so nostalgic fair. at this point that when you hear it, you're like, oh, which is like, <laughs> Sort of like an orgasm anyway, you know, it's, it's less, I don't sound like that when I fucking, when I come relaxed. It's, it's, you know, it's sort of similar. So I'm going to orgasm every time I hear it. Which is a little weird because then every time you watch Shrek, you're orgasming. You know? Would you rather be drowned in a deep fryer? <laughs> Or go feet first through a wood chipper. That's a big deep fryer, dude. What the fuck are they cooking in that? I, I probably would do the wood chipper, right? The deep fryer is like simultaneously your body's in the most pain you've ever been in your I, life. I don't fucking know. You look, know what? I'll take the deep. He's going with the deep fryer. I would probably go with the wood chipper. Reason being, you got to think, those things are designed for tree trunks and, mm -hmm. and tree branches, right? Super stiff, hard, like my little frail bones. The, the blades and the motor in that thing, that thing's going to shred through me like paper. So it's going to mm. be very quick and everything's going to be over. Yeah, maybe, a few, maybe a few seconds of pain and then it's just going to be over. Yeah. I think I think with getting drowned in the in the oil, you're gonna feel that for a for a minute. For a hot minute, yeah. Literally a hot minute. You're gonna a hot minute. <laughs> an actual hot minute. So I think I would go with the wood chipper. This is like a Man, super morbid a, one to talk about. That's a tough one. Though. That, I, See, I mean, that's why I like these, because I'm like, I don't know which one is actually worse. Well, and that's assuming, okay, because, like, that grease is getting in through your ears, your nose, and it's all boiling. I mean, is, you is probably, that going to be faster you than You probably the die instantly. I, I would assume you're just going to die instantly. But then again, I don't know. You boiled lobster before. You ever hear them things scream? That's you. Ah! Like that, that kind of a thing. Yeah, that's true. But it's oil, so you're f like frying. It's so hot. I don't know. Real hot. I don't know, guys. Which one? This is a good one. Which one? Uh, let's mm. see. If it's gonna be the, uh, I feel like the wood chipper is like more likely to happen to me. For the, for the, <laughs> like, if you would pick the, if you pick the wood chipper, put a tree in in the comments, yeah. and if you pick the lobster, put a lobster in the comments. Yeah, yeah. Or the the the, the boiling the thing. Put a, put a put a lobster yeah. in the comments. Yeah. Because uh, oh. I don't know actually. I, I don't know. Either way, it's gonna suck. It's going to be very uncomfortable for yeah. uh, for, uh, for some a time. Seconds. For some time, yeah. Deep fryer, because I think that when my entire body gets submerged in the oil and I start frying deeply, I will just go into shock. With a wood chipper, though, you start cutting my feet up, like, I'll probably be awake for that. You could probably put up with a lot with your legs. I barely feel the cold. Like, I'm one of those white people that goes outside in the winter sometimes in shorts. You're like, I don't, my, my legs don't get cold. I'm kind of like that. So if you put me through a wood chipper, I'd probably be like, all right, until it got to my knee. So I don't want to feel all that though. Uh, I'm gonna take the deep fryer though. Go out crispy. All right, before we move forward with this video, we do have a sponsor for today and that is Prize Picks. Prize See, Picks is a very fun game that you can be playing every single day. I think that the wood chipper day, would just maybe. happen so fast. Uh, and it's about sports. Because we're just fantasy. squishy I, and little. I've seen okay, those folks, guys shred up some uh, tree trunks. Uh, you're not competing quick. against yeah, other that's sharks. What I mean. That's what I mean. Gamblers or whatever the hell you're just playing against the prize picks possession So when it comes to sports someone like Travis Kelsey Is he gonna have more or less than six and a half catches in the next game stuff like that? And all you have to do mm. is choose whether he's gonna have more or less than their projections So it's very easy to understand what's if you a don't half know the ins and outs of you know the sport or anything like that It's very easy to learn Averages, just on this man. app. So you can use prize picks. <laughs> yeah. uh, their platform is awesome A lot of my friends use them. I use them um, and it's great so you can uh, combine them too. So, you know, you can win up to 25 times your money. If I believe if you do like six players and you are correct on all of their projections, 
you can uh, win up to 25 times your money. A lot of fun. And it's not yeah. just football. It's basketball. It's hockey. It's whatever it is. And if you want to play, you can go to com slash Santagato and use the code Santagato uh, for a first deposit match up to $100, okay? So prizepicks.com slash Santagato and use the code Santagato for a, a first deposit match up to $100. And that means if you put in $100, they will match it. So now you will have $200 to play with. Uh, anything under that, they will also match as well. Um, so if you put in 20, they'll put in 20. You'll have 40 bucks to play with. But anyway, it's a lot of fun. Go hmm. to pricepicks.com slash Santagato and use the code Santagato to get that first deposit match up to $100, all right? Would you rather be able to read minds or able to see into the future? That's a good one. Anyone out there ever used uh, like DraftKings or any of that stuff? Do you ever, do you, have you ever done any of that stuff? Yeah. Anyone ever, ever out there ever done that and actually been successful at it? I'm just wondering. I've never really done it. Uh, mm-hmm. The closest I've ever come to it was playing fantasy football, and that was just like with my coworkers for like yeah. a little twenty dollar pool or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I've never done any of that kind of thing. So no, and this prize either. picks thing kind of sounds similar to that. I don't follow sports enough. I don't, to I don't either. I like participate. I really, so. No, nope. yeah, I really don't. I, 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 the the year that I followed fantasy football or that I played fantasy football was the year that I like followed hmm. the the last year that i followed pretty heavily i think that was yeah. like three years ago four years ago something like hmm. that so yeah i'm just wondering if anybody's ever actually had any su- success with that with that kind of stuff you you see it all the time on the internet but like in like advertisements but obviously that's just an ad yeah so I, i'm always interested to know if people have actually there must be tons of people doing it because there's lots it's super, of companies super popular it yeah, it's, yeah it's the ads are everywhere for it so yeah anyways um, okay so would you rather be able to read minds or be able to see into the future now, how far are we talking in the future? Like all the way in the future, or just like you know, ten minutes at a time? Man, I think I think I'd rather be able to read minds. But dude, I don't know. That would suck, though. That would to always know what everybody's thinking all the time, and to just know that people are habitually lying to you most of the time. Like I think that's <laughs> right. I think that's what you would what you would come to find that. People are lying to you and lying to each other, and it's just kind of a world of lies. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the seeing into the future would be better. But then again, then we cycle back to seeing your own death and stuff yeah. like that. Like, you see into the future. What if you only see 10 minutes into the future, and all of a sudden the last thing you see in your glimpse of the future is you almost getting in a car crash, and you're like, okay, mm-hmm. well, you know, like, yeah. well, at what point does that happen in the future? You know, like, when, I, when is that going to – and you have to change things. and do. I don't know. That one's tough. I don't know, man. That one's really I, tough. Um, neither. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think it would pass, maybe. I'll take a pass take on that pass. one, dude. I would rather be able to read minds because if I can read minds, then I can dictate the future. If I know what you're thinking, then I can make adjustments okay, good outlook to your future, whether you know it or not. Suck on that. Also, like, <laughs> I am nosy as fuck. I'm asking people questions just to... <laughs> Just to know shit. <laughs> Nobody better talk to me, dude. Would you rather <laughs> poop a pineapple or pee a grape? Oh my Whoa. god. I'm gonna poop a pineapple. Your yeah, asshole is made pineapple. to stretch. Yep, and I've taken some shits that I'm like, that might be a football in there. <laughs> 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 might be a football in there. And this is gonna be a tough one to flush. Peeing a grape. That would just, I don't think you can, not like that would be the Blittering. most pain you've ever been in your life. That would surely rip my penis hole wide open. <laughs> <Gaping> <laughs> penis hole. Pineapples get this like just reputation that they're like spiky open. and they hurt. They're not. Every time I've touched a pineapple, I'm like, these aren't spiky. Like, you think they are, but they're not. The leaves are kind of spiky on top. But the sides, some pineapples don't hurt. It's just wide as I fuck. Mean, it's it would take me smooth, like a full day smooth. to shit it. But my ass would probably be able to, you know, get it open. I'm sure there's gay dudes out there that have gotten their assholes blown to bits by like some <laughs> weird unicorn dildo. And they've been able to open it up. The asshole can do amazing <laughs> things. I'm pooping that pineapple. Moving on. Would you yeah, rather have on. a vagina on your forehead or a line of penises down your back like a stegosaurus? Damn, people are trying to fuck my forehead. I mean, the vagina on the forehead is <laughs> tough because I feel like I feel like I, I get in deep thought a lot and I'm always just like thinking about stuff. And then I just be like <laughs> masturbating essentially. Like, you know, like I'm just like, oh, I don't fucking, or I'm upset. And I'm just like, oh, dude, I don't know. And I'm like playing with my clit, you know? So maybe that is a good thing. I can't have a line of cocks down my back. Oh, what can I, I can't even wear anything. I would never be able to wear a book bag ever again. I'd be fucking crushing all my cocks. Um, I'll take the vagina on the forehead because I, I can no wear hats idea. or beanies or something. No, yeah. no, I, no one better try to fuck my forehead. I'll kill somebody. For this question, yeah. you'll be locked in a room full of spiders for some amount of time. Would you rather have the lights on or off? Bro, turn them the fuck on. Them off yeah, is way worse, Are you kidding dude. me? You put me in a room. If you just told me that 
there was spiders in a dark room and there wasn't, I would still have the same reaction as if there was a million of them in there. Because not knowing is so <laughs> much worse than big, knowing. And big I think vibe that, right I there. I mean, obviously yeah. I'd be fighting these fuckers, right? I can fight them because I'd be fucking stomping my <laughs> ass off. Lock me yeah. in a room full of spiders, put the lights on and let me go to work because I'm fucking throwing <laughs> everything I have at these spiders. But if the lights are off, like I'll just lose it, dude. I may have, I just have a panic attack. And yeah, just, no shit. Just die. Out. Swing it everything, Would you rather dude. shave your dad's ass or your mom's bikini? Line, dad's ass, not yep. the, like, and it's I'm not because I think ass. my mom's bikini line is anything, you know. I'm just not just going near my mom. I will shave my dad's probably disgusting ass. Jesus, would you rather have everyone <laughs> twice your age and Jesus. older talk like an adult from Charlie Brown, <laughs> or everyone half your age and younger talk like a minion? Oh, I'm taking, mm. I'm taking the second one. Everyone half your age and younger talks like a minion. I don't interact with 16 and under anyway, Fair. and the Bingo, ones that I me. do usually interact with are my nephews, and they sound like that anyway. <laughs> they, they already sound, sound like, like that. Minions, yeah. So. Let the babies talk like fucking minions for all I care. I don't know. It's not even making sense anyway right now. Would you rather scream at full volume whenever you speak or run at full speed whenever you need to travel by foot? The second one, run at full speed whenever you need to travel by foot. That just sounds like the weird kid in high school. There was always one of them. That kid had a giant backpack and he'd be just yeah. running from class to yeah. class. And I'm like, dude, chill out. Like, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? But there was always one of those things that existed. I have one of those. Do you, do you have one of those? Yeah. 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 So that's probably not bad. People who scream at full volume. Him, that would drop. I love the descriptors. He had a giant backpack and like yeah. And usually his like, arms are like his arms are like this. There's like papers <laughs> flying out of the thing all the time, but somehow he still has all of his papers oh when he gets God, to class. Dude. I don't. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that kid. Hundred yeah. percent. I think the one. I think the one at my school. I can't remember his name. Uh, I mm. wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to recall that. But I think I remember he. He wore like Hawaiian shirts a lot, like the Hawaiian mm. button-up shirts yeah. a lot. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. mm. Made him more aerodynamic when he was hauling ass between yeah. classes and. He had like a. Became a cape at some point. Yeah. You know? <laughs> to help propel aerodynamics. It's all about aerodynamics, man. Exists in the world. And they're probably successful, so that's probably not bad. People who scream at full volume, that would drive me I can't nuts. Stand. I would yeah, drive myself no. nuts. I'd probably take the run at full speed whenever you need to travel by foot. Just Facts. because I've seen it in action. There was a kid, Brian, I forget his last name, um, but he was like that in high school. He had a huge backpack. Guy had was probably ripped up because of this backpack. It was very <laughs> heavy. Uh, but he would run everywhere. Don't know what he's doing now. Could be dead for all I know. But uh, I'm going to go with that. Would you rather go back <laughs> 10 years or go forward 10,000 years? I'm going back 10 years. 10 years ago, I was 21. That's <laughs> sick, dude. I'll, I'd rather what? do that. 10,000 years. I don't even know what the fuck the planet looks like. Everyone probably sucks over there. 10,000? Yeah. I wouldn't even know anything. I'd be so lost. Also, is the, the sun will blow up before then, <laughs> I feel like. Like, it's not even going to be a planet to go to at that point. So I'm going to go back 10 years, be 21 again, uh, and probably li relive my 21st birthday. With one 10 hmm. years ago, I'd be 24. Pretty good. 24 was good. It's fun. Doing band shit. Touring. Making music. Man, that, that almost goes back into the question of, though, so, like, so like a lot of people would want to go back 10 years because they're like, you know, if I knew what I knew now 10 years ago, I could be in a better spot now. But then, are, are you... Like I don't think that's the I, thing I don't though. Think that's does, how it works, does it work though. that way? I don't think it works that way. If you go back, you lose the knowledge that you've gained in those ten yeah. years. Also, so you just but if start, you go forward, you carry the knowledge you currently you have, have. You have what you have, right? But like like he's saying, the whole world's going to be different at that point. Is it yeah. even going to be the world anymore? Like, is there going to be all of a sudden you go forward ten thousand years and there's just nothing? It's just desolate. Nothing. I you know what? Exploded. I, I, I'm going to say this. I think it would be worth going forward ten thousand years. Just because you're the only person from your era who has ever seen or lived the future. As far as you know at that point. Yeah. I mean, 10,000 years in the future, they could, you know, they, at some point they could have figured out how to preserve life for longer or whatever. Yeah, but, yeah. but you are definitely going to be in a in a certain sect of, mm. you're, you're going to be the minority for sure. Yeah. You're definitely going to be I'm the gonna, minority. I'm going to set some records, uh -huh. change some 100%. history. Yeah. Like, yeah. And tell some goddamn stories while I'm That's at it, it, you know. This here's a GoPro. This is, this is what we use to record yeah. people. They're like... Like, is that made out of like plastic like, and metal and like, stuff? Look how like, heavy it is. It's yeah, crazy. Yeah, right. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. We're we're talking about it like that's not going to be the next t ten years. Like there's yeah. kids already out there like yeah. GoPros. What, what what's what a GoPro? That? Like oh, yeah, it's just a little brick we use to make videos. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> One of my friends got drunk with me, fell downstairs, and chipped his tooth. It's a good night. Would you rather Hell fuck yeah. the top half of Emma Watson with the bottom part of Hulk Hogan or the top mm. half of Hulk Hogan? 
with the bottom half of Emma Watson. So what they're asking me is to fuck Emma Watson with Hulk Hogan's ass, which I think I'm gonna do. (laughs) (laughs) This is like muscly tan ass. Or fuck Emma Watson's vagina while looking at Hulk Hogan. This is a toughie. This could be the toughest one in the whole video. I'm taking I'm taking the top half Emma Watson, the bottom half Hulk Hogan, and uh, I'm just I, I think I'm just I not going to look at that thing. I'm that. just going to yeah. bang that butt and move and just kind of move forward and, and pretend I'm doing you know sex to uh, Emma Watson fully. Can you imagine having sex with <laughs> Hulk Hogan though? Because you have to think of like like you can close your eyes, but if you close your eyes and the top half is Hulk Hogan, you're hearing oh yeah brother. <laughs> Well, yeah, like, bro. Bro. Yeah. Would you rather be yeah. able to eat whatever you That's want, but point. be forbidden to have sex, or be free to have sex, but you can only eat grass from fields like a cow for the rest of your life? I do love food. Can I slap it around though? Can I slap it around? Can I jerk off? Oh, then I'll do that. Dude, food is like a like a big yeah. part of life. Not having sex definitely sucks, but eating grass? That would be fucking weird. It's time yeah, for dinner. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'll go not out to the front grass. yard and gnaw at the lawn. I'm not doing that. Oh, touching, <laughs> touching like lawn. a woman's body isn't having sex, right? So I could touch a woman's body and then jerk off? Sure. <laughs> sure. I'm carving out a loophole here. I, I think I'm gonna take food, forbidden to have sex, but I could slap it around. If I can't slap it, then I'd probably eat the grass. But you need to come. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. That is uh, Would You Rather. If I, I honestly can't love slap doing it. this. So we'll probably end up doing this video uh, another time. Uh, let me know if you think I fucked up at some point during this. Uh, specifically with the Emma Watson Hulk Hogan thing. I don't, I'm not really sure about He's, like, that still answer, thinking but the rest of like, oh, uh, yeah, Leave a, a comment, let there. us know. Don't forget to subscribe. And we will see you guys next time. That's, I think that's the only call you can make at that point, man. I think that's it. The scared guy. Oh, yeah, brother. Like, mm. the, the comment you made at the end there where it's like, yeah, brother, you're like, oh, mm. actually, you know what? I think you got a point with the top half Emma Watson. I think I'm going to have to take one for the team. Just okay? for that alone. <laughs> yeah. Like that, yeah. Ooh, yeah, mm. that's, that's true. That is very true. Yeah. All right, let's stop that. Mm. Okay, that's good to go there. Okay, all right. Yeah. Well, if you guys enjoyed today's Let us know what your questions. answers are in the comment okay. section. Seriously, go back, and you could just put a list to the to the questions yeah. on there if you want. Just one, two, three. You don't have to do the list of the, the questions. Just give uh. us your answers. And uh, let us know what you would pick in some of those scenarios. Not all of yeah. them. Just do a couple if you want. You can do one if you want. I'd have... I knew it was going to get crazy. I knew it was going to get weird. It was going to get weird. I knew it. (laughs) With it being San Agato, I was like, some of these are just going to be off the wall. Yeah. And some of them, it's just like, pass. I don't... What? (laughs) What? (laughs) If you guys enjoyed today's episode as much as we did, be sure to leave a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, click the bell, become part of the notification notification gang. gang. We'll see you all next time. Yeah.